your turn. The servants are not very efficient. Durache can't be far away. They'll find her soon. Their search time is restricted given that they must keep an eye on Adams. I can take care of her, you know. Yes. Well, in any case, I do thank you for bringing her to the island. From what I've understood, the search of de Richet's room hasn't turned up any results. Not yet, no. But we've put her son in there. Perhaps he'll find something. Hmm. That might come in handy. Louis grows impatient at not yet having met the famous Lord Mortimer. He will meet him tomorrow. Oh, what a pity to lose a knight at the start of the game. Are you waiting for someone? A young French soldier. During our game of chess? Don't worry, Gregory. The game won't disappear. I'll have one of my men escort you back. Don't trouble yourself. I know my way out. Ah, good evening, gentlemen. Please forgive me for this late hour. It is never too late. And we have much to discuss. One last move? Don't worry. Our games always seem to end like this. Or always start like this. Come, come. Take a seat. Take a Nighttime stroke, Mr. President. There's nothing like it for a good night's sleep. Do not hesitate to ask a servant to show you back. The corridors seem quite safe. Peppermint, lime flower, and valerian. My miracle remedy when one can't get to sleep. A very good night to you, Mr. President. Thank you. And to you too, sir. Coming. Dear Monsieur de Richet, please excuse me, but I am unable to join you at present. However, rest assured that we are doing all we can to resolve the case that concerns us. By the way, enclosed, you will find a key that will enable you to retrieve the personal effects your mother left behind. Yours faithfully, Lord William Mortimer. Excuse me, am I bothering you? No, not in the least. Is something wrong? I'm going to need your help. Do you remember the young lady we spoke of in the hall? Elizabeth Adams. Home introduced her to us. Yes. Well, she is the daughter of my friend, the Vice President, John Adams. But she is supposed to be dead. Yeah, that's bizarre. Fair enough. Good heavens! I was present at her funeral. It is disturbing indeed. Yes. I need to make sure it's her. That's where you come in. I want you to distract Elizabeth while I search her room, and perhaps get my hands on some important information. At least, I hope so. Elizabeth is in the small salon. If you hurry, you can still catch her. I just need ten minutes. But if my vision is true, there are two men nearby discussing very important issues, and one of them looks much like Mortimer. Washington is very kind, but I came to this island for my mother, not for his ghost stories. Sir, I, I don't feel well. I'm going to have to decline. I see. Well, I hope you won't be needing my help one day. 
I must act swiftly. I'll search my room later. I recognize this part of the corridor. I'm close. Duchess Emily Hillsborough. <laughs> Locked. Servants change the beds every day. There must be a service key somewhere. Sir, I'm sorry, but an important meeting is underway. My instructions are to let no one pass. A few leaves out of an old encyclopedia. Servants put clean laundry here. Service key. I was right. Tell me, my good man. Sir? Listen, I'm an insomniac, and Sir Holm told me that you could go to the kitchen and make me a cup of herbal tea. And what is in this herbal tea, sir? Holm gave Washington a recipe for a sleeping drought. What was it again? Peppermint, lime flower, and valerian. I, yes, it's herbal tea. I, I'll go and make it for you at once, sir. I'll wait for you in my room. Hmm, I need to find a place to watch undisturbed. Dearest son, I'm writing to implore you to act quickly. The situation is rapidly worsening here. Powali continues to steer our motherland, Corsica, toward open warfare between France and England. His men are everywhere. We are obliged to go into hiding and are unable to remain in the same place for more than two days. I wouldn't be surprised if they targeted us soon. Make haste, my son. You hold our destiny in your hands. Your loving mother. Maria Letizia Bonaparte. The Battle of Alexander at Isus, or how Alexander the Great triumphed over King Darius. Yet another one with delusions of grandeur. It's a beautiful weapon, a lovely damask blade. It's marked with the initials of the manufacturer in Versailles. A bicorn decorated with a cockade. It must belong to a French soldier. Oh, I can't hear anything here. I've got to find another spot. Ah, 
This window opens onto the balcony. Okay, hmm, so that means the other room must be on my right. Sir, I understand your eagerness, but the pressure on my family complicates the task. Relax, my friend. Your relatives will soon be huh. safe. So what I saw in my vision really did happen. <sighs> well, I hope I haven't missed anything important. I thank you so much. Don't mention it. Now that's settled, let us speak about your support. Yes. You mentioned earlier some assistance from the Golden Order? Absolutely. I have concluded an agreement with their leader, Lady Sarah Faustine de Richet. Another case that Mother didn't tell me about. The funds from the Order will finance the building of a foundry in Tuscany. You will soon be able to count on a hundred or more cannons for your future campaigns. I... Uh... I was not expecting so much help from you. Uh, when can I meet this uh, de Richet? Well, unfortunately, something has cropped up. De Richet has disappeared. Disappeared? What, here? Yes, but the staff are redoubling efforts to find her, I assure you. So the agreement, is it on or off? It is on. Her right-hand man has just arrived here to help us find her. And it is none other than her son, Louis Maurras de Richet. I wager he will ensure his mother's commitments are met. Louis, not an easy name to live with in these times. Uh, of course. But from now on, you will deal with him. This man, it can only be Mortimer. Very well. I will seek him out. Ah! Map. Better get away from here. Emily? I can explain. Perhaps, but remains still. But, but first, you could perhaps remove the blade from my throat? You have ten seconds to explain your presence here. Madam. Ten seconds isn't enough for me to tell you how sorry I really am for having entered your room, and I mean that sincerely. That's a good start. What are you doing in my room? I, I thought a night stroll would help me sleep better. A servant must have closed the window behind me and- And my window was the only way for you to get back inside. Most convincing. What were you really doing on the balcony? Seeing the window open, I feared someone had entered your room. With what I'd heard next door, I had every reason to believe that your life was in danger. I am a grown woman, but how kind of you to worry about me. Now that I'm safe and sound, tell me more. Do these events concern me? Do they involve the Golden Order? I overheard a conversation between a French soldier and some other individual. And what were they talking about? It seems Mother is involved. Something about a military campaign? Apparently my mother validated an order of cannons to help this man. Really? Since when does the Order finance wars? As far as I know, since never. Did they give any details, a date, what they were for? Nothing at all. Did you know anything about this? No, but I won't forget. Thank you. All right, Louis, I might have overreacted a bit. Please do excuse me. 
But next time, please try knocking on my door. I'd be delighted to open it for you. Oh, well, I'll remember in that case. Good night, Emily. Good night, Louis. Your Eminence, what are you doing here? I wanted to speak to you about something important. Do you still have my letter on you? The one I gave you in the hall? Why do you ask? I have a name to add to it. Here it is. Thank you, my son. Ah, I see that it's still sealed. I was right to put my trust in you, Louise. Now give me one second, please. I can't imagine what would have happened if I hadn't added this name to the list. Please, be sure to give this letter to Sarah the moment you see her. You can count on it. Have a good night. Exhausted. I better go to bed. I'll search my room tomorrow. If Mother stayed here right before me, you never know. And Mortimer had better show up. <laughs> <laughs>